Okay, today we're mixing some mortar so we can chink in some of the gaps. Tell us what you're using, Brian. Uh, it's uh, sand, lime, and uh, Portland cement. All right, so he's... And there's a specific ratio, it's a trade secret. Oh. <laughs> All right, so first thing we do... And I don't have a mixer. Oh yeah, we need to get a mixer. But this is really just our practice level because we're putting in the floor and it's going to be really hard to get to this crack later. So it's kind of just good practice. But the first thing we do is we stuff in this um, it's spun glass um, insulation. And Brian found a bag of it for free on the side of the road. But we're looking into also maybe using rock wool later. Um, we haven't decided. And then next thing we do is we put nails. Um, and that'll be to hold in the cement, give it some structure. But if the gaps are too big for nails, look, here's some. So if the gaps are too big, then we have to put some kind of screen in. And this stuff is its sharp. Everywhere you touch it, it's really sharp. So we don't like it and it's really hard to cut. He had to use this thing. What is this called? Angle An angle grinder to cut it. And we've seen people use something different. It's more like window screen. We'll probably try that next. Um, so then, uh, the lighting is bad. I'm gonna try this where I can get to it. Okay. I got it good this time. It's hard to see. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so he, when he first, first puts it in, it's really dark and gray. But um, over the next couple of days, here's some he just did. It gets lighter. So here's some he did yesterday. Still a little blotchy, but it I think it'll it'll lighten up. And I think it's really pretty. Ties the logs together. Really nice.